back. Welcome back. We're at the movies. Yeah, here we are. Kind of, sort of. I mean, we've got our popcorn, so I feel like that's the perfect setup for the movies, right? That's right. That's really all you need, I feel like. A for screen sure. and some popcorn. That's right. We're yeah. showing you what's new in the box office this weekend in our Malco Movie Man. And first up, a movie for the entire family. Turning, yeah. uh, turning people upside down. I love this. Small I foot turns a myth upside down when a bright young Yeti finds something he thought he did that didn't exist. A human. Let's take a look. More was like the creature I had only heard existed in legend. <laughs> Straight out of your worst night. All right, now the simple Yeti community, of course, they're in an uproar. They've never seen a human before, so they're trying to figure out what else is What's out there in on? the big world that they yeah. may not have known about. All star cast for this movie. Yeah. You've got Danny DeVito. I know, so many great Zendaya, people. Zendaya. LeBron. Um, LeBron. Channing Tatum. A lot of great voices in this movie. Smallfoot is rated PG 13. No, yeah. PG. PG, and it looks like fun. Fun for the whole family. Yeah. I've been watching this. They, they did a teaser trailer to this movie a couple months back, and our, my family's really excited about it. Yeah, it um, looks really cute. Check it out up next. Kevin Hart is headed back to school mm. in comedy Night School. <laughs> That's right. The film follows a group of misfits who are forced to attend adult classes and a long shot chance they'll pass the GED exam. Night School directed by Malcolm D. Lee, who is reunited with Tiffany Haddish in this film. Night School rated PG-13. That's right, Malcolm Lee also directed Girls Trip. So I like it kind of when directors work with the actors that they've worked with before. So yeah, this too. looks hilarious. Oh, look these two together. These two together, that's it. Comedy geniuses. Mm-hmm, well good, fine. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That's how arguments go in my house, actually. That is. Mm -hmm. You don't need words sometimes for arguments because just lips flapping can say it enough. Yep, same. That yeah. looks really good. Yeah, it does. It looks Kevin hilarious. Kevin Hart's really funny, so I love him in the chicken outfit. I Come and get your chicken from the Lord. <laughs> too. Everything, all the previews I've seen for that look really funny. So yeah, I'm they do look really it. funny. Yeah. All right, we're horror fans. We didn't forget about <laughs> you. <laughs> a mass killer turns a horror-themed amusement park into his own personal playground, terrorizing a group of friends while the rest of the patrons believe it's all part of the show. Take a look at Hellfest. Hellfest. Now you'll recognize that guy. Of That's course. Candyman. That's Candyman. So anybody, if it's Candyman's in it, it's super scary. Okay, everybody's caught up in a terrifyingly fun atmosphere to recognize yep. that the horror is actually a reality playing out in front of their eyes. Hellfest is rated R. It's rated R. Um, I heard rumors just putting it out there because I want it to happen that there uh -oh. might be a reboot of Candyman. Yes. What? I would lose my mind. I would lose my mind. Same. Yes. I love a good horror flick. This one looks yeah. pretty good and a very interesting plot, right? Right. You're at an amusement park, a horror amusement park, right. thinking that everything is scary and everything's fine, but in reality, some stuff is really it's happening behind the real. scenes. Yeah. And so you're trying to figure out what's real and what isn't. Yes. Looks really, really good. I know. Definitely interested in that one. And I've said this before, it's rated R, which means it's going to be really scary because yeah. sometimes you get a scary movie and it's rated PG and, and it may like, not Man. be scary, but right. this one may go all the way with that rating. I know. I love it. I love that we've just featured things for the family. We featured comedies and we featured a scary flick yeah, as well. Absolutely.